Think of the 2017 Mini Countryman as the brand's ah, to hell with it moment. At a whopping 8.1 inches longer and 5.4 inches wider than the vehicle it replaces, it is quite obviously the least Mini Mini ever. Yet, that size increase makes it more useful, comfortable riding, and better proportioned. If a compact crossover SUV is what's to be, then this is the size it should be. However, it's still quite mini for a compact SUV, coming in at 3 inches shorter than the Mercedes-Benz GLA class and 4 inches shorter than an Audi Q3. Neither of those are what anyone would describe as large. And yet, the Countryman boasts a considerably more spacious and usable interior than either of them. Sit in the new Countryman's back seat and you'll be amazed at the space, with plenty of leg and headroom for even tall people despite a standard panoramic sunroof. Crossovers of similar exterior dimensions, luxury or otherwise, just don't come close to providing as much passenger space. The cargo area isn't quite as impressive on paper, but its boxy shape and the sliding second row seat make it far more versatile in practice. So, despite being the least mini mini ever, the new Countryman is still in keeping with the brand Zethos from the very beginning when Alakai Saigonis created a car that was microscopic on the outside but disproportionately spacious inside. There's far more to this redesign than just dimensional changes, the 2017 Countryman grows up figuratively as well. The original model always felt like a Mini Cooper hardtop that ballooned in size and door count. Compared to SUVs of similar price, and more damningly of lesser price, it was crashy, loud, a bit cheap inside, and relatively uncouth. The base model was also embarrassingly slow. The new version feels more like a proper compact luxury SUV flavored with a robust salt buy of mini spice. Actually, that's pretty much what it is. The Countryman now shares its front-wheel drive platform with the new BMW X1 which itself benefits from various trickle-down elements from elsewhere in the BMW group. For instance, processes developed for the 7 Series are in part responsible for the new, stiffer structure that contributes greatly to the 2017 Countryman's other great advancement, the exponentially better ride. The old one harshly crashed over bumps in a way that only Fred Flintstone wouldn't find tiresome. The new Countryman is still on the firm end of the spectrum. But that's just in keeping with its road-hugging character. Importantly, the impact harshness is now gone and there's a nicely damn try very much in keeping with its BMW roots. Not only is the suspension more sophisticated than before, the geometry is shared with the X1, the tuning is not, but crucially, the 18-inch wheels are now shot in higher-profile rubber. You can also get non-run flat tires and a compact spare to smooth things out further. And it wasn't like the drive route was lobbing its softballs, the minefield of potholes and tram tracks throughout downtown Portland, Oregon, made it clear just how much the ride had been improved. It's not a couch, but it was also never objectionable. Happily, it also doesn't negate that quintessential mini-driving feel. Our pace may have been dulled by rain and snow around Portland and Mount Hood, in early March, who'd have thunk. But the Countryman still boasts responsive steering flat cornering responses, and a general nimble feel that won't be confused for any other brand. It's lost some of its tardy, vaguely go-kartish feel. <laughs>